Revelation 3335. From the 19th of November 1944. Guilt of Sin. Forgiveness. Redemption. Cross of Christ. The graces of the work of redemption extend to all people who have faith in Jesus Christ. These are therefore also assured of the forgiveness of their sins as soon as they recognize them, repent and ask for forgiveness. For those who believe in Jesus Christ also know that they are sinful, otherwise they would not acknowledge his work of redemption. Consequently, they stand under the cross of Christ, they feel complicit in the suffering and death which Jesus took upon himself and they humbly bow before him to ask for forgiveness of their guilt. But these people are constantly striving for maturity of soul, and thus they will also repeatedly take refuge under the cross of Christ if they are exposed to temptations in the battle of life or even succumb to them at times. For they know that they are weak and that therefore the danger of sinning is excessive if they don't constantly ask for strength and call upon Jesus Christ to strengthen their will. They know that they can come to him at any time. They also know that God is long-suffering and merciful, that he knows about his children's weaknesses and that he is always willing to forgive them if they have sinned and repentantly approached the cross of Christ. For the act of salvation has been accomplished for all people and for all times. His graces will always be effective on those who believe in Jesus Christ and all guilt will be cast on those whom he took upon himself and atoned for through the death of the cross. The work of mercy is so great that men are not able to grasp it, but only those who unite with him through faith can ever partake of it, and this is why the hardship on earth is overwhelming, indeed often unbearable, because humanity has lost this faith because it does not flee to him with its guilt of sin but is burdened itself and now also has to bear the burden. Their guilt cannot be paid off, it constantly grows and lies all the more heavily on people who lack all faith in Jesus Christ. And it will become so great that the guilt will crush people, that they will collapse under it and no longer be able to rise up, for they do not seek forgiveness of the guilt and God's justice cannot wipe it away if they do not desire his grace and accept to be redeemed from their guilt. A human being sacrificed himself in supreme love and, through his death, offered an atonement to God sufficient for eternity that sinners might find forgiveness before God for the sake of this sacrifice. For he was the purest being, he was without any guilt and therefore his sacrifice outweighed the sins of all mankind. However, his sacrifice of atonement must be acknowledged by people, they must be willing to accept the graces thereby acquired, otherwise they cannot be eternally freed from their guilt. Sin pulls people down, Christ's death raises them up again. Sin is the death of the soul, but under the cross of Christ it comes to life again. Every person is sinful as long as he still walks on earth, but in faith in Jesus Christ and his act of salvation he finds forgiveness, he finds eternal life, which would be lost to him through sin. The forgiveness of the guilt of sin is therefore of utmost importance, it can only take place through Jesus Christ, it cannot be replaced by anything else and therefore every person who lacks faith in Jesus Christ and his act of salvation will have to languish in sin. For even if he lives a life of strict self-restraint and purity on earth, the sin of his former rebellion against God, which was the reason for his life on earth in the first place, still remains with him. Because this sin caused his weakened will which is unable to offer resistance against the earthly temptations and temptations which make him sinful. For Jesus Christ offered his sacrifice in recognition of the profound adversity, in recognition of the weakness of will humanity finds itself in due to its past sin, and in order to redeem them from it he gave his life on the cross, for he was full of love, and love seeks to bring help, love will always be redemptively active. Amen.